Hey guys, I'm Rob Richards, and on today's video for supplementsworld.com, I'll be taking a look at a few different variations of the lateral raise. If you're interested in finding out more information on the overall shoulder development and more training, be sure to check out my full shoulder workout video at supplementsworld.com. The lateral raise is a great exercise that really isolates and targets that middle or the lateral head of the deltoid. Now for this one, you need to keep the arm straight, but with a slight bend in the elbow to really target and focus all of the effort on that lateral head. And as you raise the arm up slightly forwards to make sure that the elbow is positioned to the back of you and not pointing downwards, as this will put a lot more of the stress on the arm, bicep in particular, and less so on that deltoid head. Even with something as simple as the lateral raise, there's a few variations that will really allow you to focus not just on the lateral, but also the anterior, the front, and the posterior, the back of that deltoid. And this really comes down to how you end the exercise. I'm not talking about up at the top. As you lower that weight down, typically we'll either just bring it to the front of our bodies or down to the side. But try doing a set where you start with the dumbbells in front, raise them up to the side, making sure that the elbow is positioned back, and then lower them back down to the side. Raise them back up, and as you lower them down, take them behind. And what this will do is work a lot more of the cross section of the deltoids, bringing in that front and rear deltoid, instead of just more isolating the lateral. So depending on where you see your weaknesses are, focus on that lateral head as being your more dominant focused exercise, certainly early on in the workout. Now we've seen the lateral raise performed as both a seated lateral raise and also standing, but it can also be performed sideways on a bench. And by lowering the weight, this really allows you to focus on isolating that lateral head, much more so than seated or standing. Another great variation is to use cables. Now I love using cables, especially towards the end of a workout, because they enable you to allow to keep that intensity high without needing too much weight. So once you've spent most of that energy on the bigger, heavier compound type movements, such as the presses and much more of the lateral raises early on in the workout, you can move on to cables and work that lateral head through a range of different angles that you really can't do with a dumbbell. One of the key benefits I find of performing the lateral raise with a cable is that not only does it allow you to keep the intensity high with a lot of stress and tension placed on that muscle without needing too much weight, which is really great towards the end of a workout, but it also allows you to work that muscle head through a range of different angles that you really can't match with a dumbbell or barbell. What I mean by this is performing one arm at a time, you can bring the arm slightly out in front or to the side and behind the body like you can with dumbbells, but the tension then placed on that lateral head as well as the anterior and posterior head is that much greater than it is with a dumbbell, simply because you've got the same level of tension on that muscle throughout the full range of motion. So that being said, experiment with different types of lateral raise, whether you're using dumbbells, seating, standing, or with a cable, and for this, high repetition tends to work best. It's a small head, that lateral head. So you don't wanna risk injury by going too heavy. Instead, focus on 10, even 15 or upwards of 20 repetitions. And don't forget some of these shocking principles, including an isometric hold, where once you've finished performing those exercises, try and hold the weight at arm's length for a number of seconds. It really helps focus on that graininess and brings out greater conditioning in the lateral head. And finally, just because that lateral head may be a small muscle group, it doesn't mean that it can't be trained hard using a lot of different training and shocking principles. For this one, drop sets, triceps, and also holding it isometrically out. After you finish performing your set, see how long you can hold the weights at arm's length, just for a couple of seconds, resisting it back down. This is a great way to enhance any conditioning and further bring out that graininess and separation amongst the heads. For more information on shoulder workouts and many other different exercises, you can see all of these along with their accompanying articles at supplementsworld.com. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can stay up to date with all of our training and nutritional videos. I'm Rob Richards. Until next time, keep training hard. I'll see you soon.